in this video we're going to focus on how we can create a range bar chart here and of course like this here and I remove here the tooltip but basically you have this here in range it shows you the temperature every day it's getting colder and you can see a Wednesday the lowest temperature was 6 and the highest one would be 17 and then here etc etc it keeps on going down and as well the max temperature as well so this is what we call a range bar chart or a floating bar chart let's explore how to make this one in this video we're going to focus on one of the viewers question which is how to create a range bar chart in chart.js so this question came from one of my other videos about how to select segments of data structure to draw lines in chart.js and in here a special thank you to Rafael Gomez and this is what Rafael asked how to create a range chart with chart.js so most likely I'm assuming you're going to create a bar range chart if that's not the case let me know what type of range chart you're searching for anyway so to do this what are we going to do is we're going to create our bar chart first so for that we're going to our default code on our specific website chartjs3.com getting started make sure you get this link here for some reason my let's say script just doesn't want to function well with google chrome anyway scroll down copy this code here this is all what we need then you copy this code and if you want to understand this code please watch this video here that explains it all I'm going to paste this in here once I paste it in here I go to cut out this just put it in there that is for me basically so I know the title of the video save that refresh there we are so now we have a wonderful bar chart here but of course we need to make sure that this eventually become a range so basically a range bar chart is the difference where it doesn't start at the very bottom so what we're going to do here to make it really nice because that's most commonly what people want is to have it like like a Gantt chart where we start at the very beginning and then we have a range and then it starts to move on so that's what I want to do here a little bit so it looks a little bit more nice so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert this into a um, horizontal bar chart so that will mean here we say axis uh, or index or is that axis index then we say here x I'm not sure if this is it or it's x index no nope. all right index axis that should be the one sorry and of course make sure you have a comma here save that there we are index axis is y of course because we want to make it horizontal all right that's it sorry about that so now what we can do here is for example imagine this would be maybe the temperature or maybe the task I guess temperature would be nice we want to know the range from the highest temperature up to the lowest temperature so how can we do this well luckily it's quite straightforward in here all we need to do here is use brackets so this is a data structure that's slightly different because it will work with floating basically it's created a floating bar chart so in here all we can do is here the bracket so we do a bracket within bracket here and then we're going to put in the values here so let's say we want to have here Monday it is a nice day so we have a sunny day from 10 up to 15 degrees it could be Celsius well Fahrenheit shouldn't be because then it would be very low so it should be Celsius so we can say here temperature in Celsius degrees all right so what I will do here is just copy this and put in multiple make sure we do this correctly sorry paste paste and paste and paste all right so once we have them all pasted here last we can remove the comma and here we can do a different thing we can do eight and this will be uh six as we are heading approaching the cold winter four two three two and this one one and then we have this one here this would be ten and this is twelve and this one was only nine it's a cold day and here again uh, 30 this one was nice and here 11 and that one will be fine so if I save this now refresh you can see here now what is happening the temperature ranging is starting to show let me make sure that this is all correct because I'm going to do here a well well you might see here the tooltip is showing all these values is fine but I just want to delete or remove the tooltip for now and the reason why is it's just blocking and it's very distracting for now so I say here plugins Make sure you have a comma here. Let me say here uh, tooltip enabled. 
false. Save that. There we are. All right. So now you can see this works nicely. But there's one issue here, which I absolutely do not like, is this here. Uh, we need to put in a border here. By default, the border is basically skipped because it will always attach here. But in this case, now we have a floating case or floating bar chart. In that case, we must unskip them. So we say here, border skipped false. Set this here, save that, refresh. And now we have this one that looks absolutely phenomenal. And this is here how you can play around with the temperatures or with floating bars within range of certain values. So if you like this video, there's another video that I highly recommend, which is to create an arbitrary line with text in Chart.js. Because usually when you have a range, you might have a certain target, when target hit, or there's certain cases that you want to display extra a line on the grid lines, on, on the X or on the Y axis, uh, and of course some text. So this video shows exactly how.